Hi everyone, thank you for watching our presentation on what does birth with vision look at. I'm Harold, and the work is jointly done with Mark Yatskar, Da In, Chorishie, and Kai Wei Chang. A long version of this paper titled Visual Bird, a simple and performant baseline for vision and language, is on archive. Recently, a range of pre-trained vision and language models have established the new results on various benchmarks. They are pre-trained on image captions using a mask and predict objective. Such pre-training has been shown to be beneficial for downstream tasks. For example, on the left side, during pre-training, the model might encounter such an image and is trained to predict that it is raining and people are walking with umbrellas. Then when it is transferred to solve the question on the right, it knows to infer raining based on recognized umbrellas without actually seeing the raindrops. These models, such as Violbird, Elok Smirt, Our Visual Bird, and Uniter, have shown strong performance on various vision and language benchmarks. Here we show the performance of Visual Bird compared to previous strong baselines on four tasks, VQA, VCR, NLVR2, and Flickr 30K. In this paper, the question we would like to address is, what does Bird with Vision learn during pre-training? We analyze the attention maps of our Visual Bird and find that it acquires a fundamental ability, grounding. We first find that the model can perform entity grounding, in that some attention heads can map entities to image regions. Uh, for example, men, shirt, sidewalk, and pedestrians are mapped correctly to the regions. To quantitatively verify such phenomena, we use a development set of Flickr 30K as a test bed. For each image and caption, in the data set, alignments between entities and regions are annotated. Uh, Visual Bird has multiple attention heads and different attention heads have different attention weights. So for each attention head, we test if the entity is attending most to the correct image region. We report the accuracy in the graph where each data point corresponds to one attention head. We group the heads by the layer they belong to, and we make two observations. First, while not all heads can perform entity grounding, certain heads are very accurate. The best heads achieve an accuracy of over 50%, well above the baseline of always guessing the most confidently detected region, uh, which is drawn as a gray line. Further, the accuracy peaks in higher layers, suggesting that the model deepens its understanding of the image as information is propagated through multiple transform layers. In addition to entity grounding, we find that non-entity words can attend to image regions. Uh, for example, wearing is attending to the man, which is its subject. On is attending to the sidewalk, which is all its object. We call this behavior syntactic grounding. And more formally, if two words, word one and word two, are linked through a dependency relationship, R, we check if word one is attending to the regions of word two. In this table, we list the most frequent dependency relationships and the most accurate attention head for identifying each relationship. We find that the attention heads are good at predicting syntactic relations between words and image regions, exceeding a baseline of always guessing the most confidently detected region. Uh, further, different attention heads specialize in different relations, which is consistent with the behavior found in the attention heads of BERT. We also plot the syntactic grounding accuracy uh, of two dependency relationships of all attention heads. We observe a similar trend, the accuracy peaks in higher layers. Here we showcase another example. 
we first find that the model is pretty accurate at grounding, mapping women, a white sweater, he's teased by, and husband to the correct regions. Further, the model is refining its understanding over the layers. At layer three, it mistakenly maps the word husband to the region of women. However, it gradually shifts its attention weights to the regions of the man through layer four to eleven. This observation aligns with our conclusion from quantitative analysis. Finally, we discuss some related work. Our work is inspired by works on analyzing pre-trained language models, which reveal that they learn the classical NLP pipeline, such as POS, NER, SRL, and CAREF. Previous works in the domain of VQA have also shown qualitative examples of entity grounding. Uh, dedicated methods have also been proposed to explicitly learn grounding. Our work, however, shows that grounding is automatically acquired through pre-training on image caption data. We also extend the notion of entity grounding to syntactic grounding and quantitatively verify both. Our code is available on GitHub, and you can scan the QR code to access it. Thank you for watching.